Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm actually doing this. Holy shit, do I dare to say it. Disney's 14th animated masterpiece, Peter Pan. Oh my god, this is like every little boy's fantasy. I mean, think about it. You've got pirates, you got flying, you got Indians, you got faraway lands, you got mermaids. This movie would be said and done. There are some changes here and there, but still, they still get the characters right about what's in the J.M. Barry story. Or play. Peter Pan is my favorite character of all time, even when I was a little boy. I have all the merchandise of Peter Pan. I have the game, I got the toy, I got the movies, I've got the Funko Pop figures, I got the Zoom Zoom, I've got the soundtracks, I got the VHS tape. I've got different books of Peter Pan, a glass cup of Peter Pan. Oh my god, my whole entire list goes on. This one is such a classic, consider it was made in 1953 or 54. I simply like my character Peter Pan, but what I really love about this movie is Captain Hook. Oh my god. This is the Captain Hook that much people think when they think of Peter Pan. He's threatening, but he's really, really funny. Along with his bumbling sidekick, Smee. And when you have these two together with the crocodile, holy shit, this is some of the best slapstick you'll ever see in a Disney movie. The timing, the pacing, the expressions, this shit kills me every single time when I watch this scene. And watching Peter Pan at this time in the present time, it it brings back so many memories of where I used to be during 2000, 2001, and 2002 when I was in Kentucky. And it just brings back so many memories. Especially when I hear the song, You Can Fly, and the reprise of the song. This is one of Disney's biggest trademarks along with Pinocchio and Snow White. Even though Walt Disney himself hated the character Peter Pan himself. But you're not in charge anymore, Walt Disney. We actually love the movie just the way it is, especially how the character Peter Pan is. You never like anything in your life, dude. Anyways, does anyone think that the, what makes the Red Men Red feels like it was a stereotyping kind of song? Because I don't think so. Because this is something that we actually thought that the Native Americans were back at the time. What, what makes the Red Men Red? I still love that song. It still sticks in my head. And you know something? There was a time where our ancestors actually flew. I kid you not. I'm wishing that I actually can't, could fly. Not in an airplane, fly like how Peter Pan, or like at least how Batman did in Batman Begins. But then again in the future, there will be some things we have to invent to make ourselves fly. Peter Pan on my scale movie, from one to 10, I actually would give this one an actual 10 out of 10. Cause I love this movie all the way through. The second star to the right shines in the night for you. Every time I watch this movie, I always memorize each line from the movie. Because this is the movie I have seen more out of Snow White, Pinocchio, Pocahontas, The Lion King, and Frozen. It's my number one favorite Disney movie of all time, and it's going to stay with me until the day I die. <laughs>